Hey, happy, happy, happy Tuesday. Okay, it's preparing to stream live on my page on YouTube. Hold on just a hot minute. Okay, happy, happy, happy Tuesday. Okay, it's preparing to stream live on. Okay, I don't know if it will stream live. Still, I just had to exit it out there. I should probably should have just muted it. Hold on just a second, please. You know what? I'm new and it doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and record it on here so we know what's going on. And it's super loud at, okay, Trista is muted and no video. That's all. That's a good girl. Okay. Well, here we go, friends. I'm going to go ahead and press the record button. I'm going to read record it to my computer and here we go all right happy tuesday night are you all ready for your success event are you all ready to be celebrated and are you ready to be fired up okay so um you may not you may be muted out and if you're not that's okay whatever but we're going to start off tonight powerfully with some powerful affirmations is everyone ready all right I'm ready all right, repeat after me. I am fabulous. I am fabulous. I'm a child of God. I am a child of God. Therefore, 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 no weapon of me shall prosper. No weapon of me shall prosper. Right, what she said. I, no weapon formed <laughs> against me shall prosper. No oh, weapon no formed weapon against, formed me, against me, me shall prosper. Shall prosper. <laughs> right on. Okay, I I look fabulous. I look, I look fabulous. fabulous. I'm confident. I'm confident. I'm very confident. I know my stuff. I, I know, my, know stuff. my stuff. And everyone wants to do a virtual facial with me. Everyone, and everyone wants, wants to do a virtual facial, facial with me. I'm a booking queen. I'm a booking queen. And I'm a coaching machine. And I'm a coaching machine. machine. <laughs> I'm headed to the top. I'm headed to the I'm top. To the top. <laughs> and I cannot be stopped. And I cannot be stopped. Woohoo! Awesome job, ladies. Fantastic, fantastic. Hello, Dolores. Hello, hello. Great to have you on. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, let me do, I'll do full screen mode here, actually. I don't want you to stand. We'll, we'll probably do uh we'll probably just do speaker view for right now and i'm going to go ahead and mute everyone out unless you've got no background noise and that's okay there we go okay that's pretty quiet so we're going to go ahead and rock and roll so first of all we're going to start with some recognition so independent sales director Katie Harris and I are going to be recognizing uh, the Janice Trunk unit, Rosie's unit, and Katie's unit. So I'm going to go ahead and start. We're going to start with B Achievers. B Achievers for the month of May, we have Tanya Shaler from the Janice Trunk unit. Katie, mm -hmm. B Achievers. B Achievers for Katie. Okay, so victory units, we have Carrie. Limon, who is our B Achiever so far. Way to go, Carrie. Whoop, whoop. Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and, oh, I want to tell you, I do have a couple of pre-Bs, and that means that they've ordered 300 before the 15th, which, Katie, I know this is new and we haven't talked about this, but I think we should be talking about pre-Bs, too. So my pre-Bs, pre-B, Denise Sandman and Heather McLaughlin. Right. And do you have any prebies that you know of, Katie? I do. Mallory Jacobs and me. Uh, <laughs> and too, I believe I'm a that there's one. Amber Prost. Amber Prost. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Great job, ladies. Congratulations. Next, yay. we want to recognize our Great Start Qualifiers or Great Start Bundle Achievers. Katie. Do you have any Great Start Qualified or Great Start Bundle Achievers in your victory year? I do. Yes. So Carrie, when she became a B Achiever, she also went ahead and qualified, uh, became a Great Start Qualified Consultant. 
And so now she's earned a free bundle of products. Way to go, Carrie. Woo Way to go, Carrie. All right. Now we are at the star consultant level. And so we have Jana Strunk is a diamond star, 184 away from Emerald. Mm -hmm. And from the, from the RISE unit, we also have Tanya Shaler and Heather McLaughlin that are on target, which means they have 900, at least 900 wholesale in. And from Rosie's Dream Catchers, Rosie herself is a ruby and she's only 487 away from diamonds. So way to go, Rosie. Katie's victory right. star. Sorry. You're freezing up, sister. Me? Yes. Okay. Are you there? Uh huh. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Hold on a second. I can hear somebody else that's getting ice out of their ice machine. Oh, crap. That was me. Sorry. Okay. Muted. Okay. Katie can. Yes. Okay. So Katie, I am a pearl star this quarter. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited about that. And then we have Laura Robbins, who is an on target star. She is less than like less than 800 away from being a Sapphire star. So super excited about that. Cause there's Yay! still a lot of time. Fantastic job, ladies. Yay. Clapper, clapper, clapper. Okay. Um, we also have an on target star, Trista Pickard. It's only 267 away from Sapphire Star in the Dreamcatchers unit. Congratulations, great job. And Dolores Vollenweider is a Sapphire Star. She's only 17 wholesale away from Ruby. Wow, great job, Dolores. Sorry, I'm trying to look over my sheet and Rosie's sheet all together. So anyway, um, Okay, I think we got all of the stars. Now, Ro, uh, do you want to do you want to talk about your pearl girls? Katie? Yeah, you know I do. So I'm really excited about my pearl girls. So one of my pearl girls, try to say that like five times fast, by the way. <laughs> but one of my pearl girl, pearl girls, is on the call. Is on the meeting right now. Her name is Sam. You're amazing. Great job, She's Sam. already earned. Hey, girl. She's already earned, earned, I can't talk, oh my goodness, her necklace um, from having her very first recruit, very first team member. So I'm so excited for you. And then uh, Carrie is just, she's she's like on fire about these pearls. I think she's really excited about the uh, pearl set because she's only one call away from getting her entire set. Wow. So, and wow. we have some prospective new team members for her. So we're very excited about that too. Very good. I can see her moving into red this month, like maybe wow. next week. Mm -hmm. That is how that happens. Isn't that- I know, I'm super pearl? excited about it. You know, you do your pearls of sharing, you um, have your sales director train you and sharing the facts about Mary Kay, and then you go out and do it on your own. And then you just build your team and everybody wants to join your team. They can't help themselves. So anyway, congratulations, ladies. Great job earning your pearls and great job, Victory Unit, for your growth. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Yay! Okay, next, um, Katie, would you like to welcome new consultants? Welcome, new consultants. I don't currently have any in the Victory <laughs> Unit, Okay. but we are so excited that you are with us. We are, we, yes, welcome, welcome, new consultants. Okay, let's. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we are at the point to recognize senior consultants. So mm -hmm. from the Dream Catchers unit, we have Stephanie Darrow, Vera Gare, Leslie Goodwin, Dolores Vollenweider. Congratulations, ladies. Way to go, ladies. Woo! We're also going to recognize a star team builder from the Dream Catchers unit, Trista Pickard. Woo! Trista. Okay, now we're going to recognize senior independent beauty consultants from the Strunk Rise unit. Betsy Dudley, Emerald Hacker, Stephanie Ingersoll, Shaney Coldy, Heather McLaughlin, Denise Sandman, Brianna Starnes, Ali Stoller, and Mandy Thomas. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. Way to okay. go, ladies. 
And from the RISE unit, our star team builders, Tanya Shaler and one of her team members, Teresa Hammett. Great job. Woo! Red. Awesome. Uh, very good. Very good. Okay, Katie. Okay. So we have we have some we have a senior consultant. Her name is Julie McCoy. I'm super excited. Her daughter joined her team. And so she is now a senior. And we have some like almost senior, like they're almost a senior consultant. So Carrie is almost a senior. We have Sam who's almost a senior as well. So we're really excited about this growth and we're really excited about them adding more team members and getting that momentum and um, really promoting themselves and advancing. So I'm super excited about that. Fantastic, way to go, congratulations. And I know that we have Carol Colson on the call as well. And uh, Carol Colson is uh, DIQ, right? Is she director in qualification? She's not, but she is a future director. Future director! Woo! Carol! That deserves a big round of applause, Carol Colson. Thank you for getting on here, Carol. Okay, next we are going to recognize, uh, let's, let's talk about our unit goals. So I'm gonna talk about the dream catchers goals right now. And by the way, you guys, Rosie is like not just skipping out tonight. She actually is doing a party for a great group of ladies. And so I'm really excited um, for her. So we are covering for her tonight. So um, 20, y'all have a goal to have 20 working dream catchers this month. And so we, we, you guys, when you're working your business and you're, you're sharing this amazing product with other people, they're ordering people, women love to shop. We love to shop. We don't like to be sold to, but we like to shop it like crazy. So present the product, you'll be selling it and you'll be ordering it. So when you're ordering, we track how many people that we have ordering slash working. And so right now the dream catchers unit has five people that have ordered and this month and y'all have a goal of having 20. I know you can do it. Okay. Next. Y'all have a goal of having 15 new dream catchers this month. Dream catchers, sisters, building team. Um, and so far, y'all have one. So congratulations on that one um, new team member and whoever the recruiter is. And then also, y'all have a goal of hitting 12,000 wholesale in production. I know that beyond a shadow of a doubt, Rosie has got this vision for you guys to become a premier club unit and get recognized at that next level because she thinks that's who you are. And so I'm really proud to say that I know you guys are going to achieve this. I know you're gonna hit that. And so right now the 12,000 in production, y'all are at 18, almost 1800. So you have about $10,063 to go. I love math, it's awesome. Numbers never Ooh. lie. Hey, okay. And the RISE unit, we have a goal to have 60 working ordering consultants this month. We have 14 so far and we have 46 to go. When we hit that 60 number, I'm gonna give away $100 cash. Just saying, it's time to give away some cash. And then the number of new consultants, we have zero right now, but I know we're gonna have 20. We've got a lot of things going on. I know I've been sharing the Mary Kay opportunity with lots of great people. And um, so we have 20 to go. Our wholesale goal this month is 25,000. The reason why it's 25 and not 20 is because we have to hit that this month and next month to hit our goal of half, half million for the year. Half million. Rise sisters, so can you exciting. say that with me? Half million. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> okay, so a half million, when we go to stuff, we're gonna have, you like, with everybody in our rise unit is going to say half a million and they're going to look at your your name badge and they're going to say oh you guys are good no. so anyway um i want that honor for each and every one of you and i'm really excited about that that's going to be our best month yet i mean best year yet okay so and by the way we've hit twenty five thousand like numerous times so i know that we can do that that is not a stretch for us so we are, we have 2678 right now. So we're only 22,322 um, away. And, um, or if you want to do a countdown of like 400 wholesale orders, if you can wrap your brain around a, doing one 400 wholesale order orders, we need 56 people to do that. So if you order 800, then we only need 54. So Whatever you want to contribute through your business, whatever your goals are, we're just excited to have you be part of it. So, um, Katie, 
Yes. You're up to bat, Victory Queen. Okay, so our unit goals this month. Can you hear me okay? Can everybody hear me? I can. That is fabulous. Okay, great. So we are excited to have 25 working and ordering consultants this month. Oh, okay. Super Woo exciting. And you know what? You know what's so cool, guys, is that everybody in the victory unit, almost everybody is like working at their own pace. Like they're working toward their own goal. Like we've been talking about that a lot this last week and last this week and last week. And so we already have eight ladies that have placed orders this month, which is so exciting. And cause looking, you know, it's just super cool, super cool to see this movement. We are looking for, um, 12 new consultants. So I am excited to have three new red jackets. Am I jumping ahead? Okay. Am I, I'm not jumping ahead. Am I? Oh, you're good. Green and red jackets in our unit. Okay. And five new seniors. And we're like inches away, guys. Inches away. I'm super excited. And then um, wholesale production. So I'm sticking with 12. So we're going to do 12 new consultants and we're going to do 12,000 in unit production. It's totally happening. I'm so excited. And we're going to earn more of that Malibu. And it's going to feel so good for everybody in the victory unit. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. So way to this go, ladies. I see something happening and I see the movement and the momentum that you guys are creating. You guys are a force to be reckoned with. And I'm telling you, you're going to build this month. I really see you guys hitting that premier level soon. And so you're going to be a, a grand achiever unit, but then you're going to be that premier. Oh my gosh. What about premier plus pick up that? That would be awesome. Cause then all my kids could fit. You could have that traverse. It's that's an awesome car. Okay. And then you can take some of your consultants with you. <laughs> okay. Exactly. That is super amazing. Okay. So Katie, do you want to tell us a little bit about, um, as we segue into the training portion, um, by the way, does anyone have any questions before, if you, if you have a question, you can definitely unmute yourself. Any questions so far about any of the unit goals or anything like that? Sorry, I keep getting notifications. Are you good? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and segue into our training portion. Katie, tell us a little bit about who inspired who who inspired our um, our training tonight. Can you do that? Yes. Okay. So um, I'm getting my notes up here because uh, I rewatched the Boss Babes call um, today and. I, you know, I love rewatching these Jana and everyone else, because I, I pick up things that I didn't pick up before. And it like is more deeply seated and rooted in what I'm working towards this month and to wrap up the seminar year. So Karen Rydell, am I saying that? Is it Rydell? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Karen Rydell, she was on the Boss Babes call that um, Cleta Colson Air has every Sunday evening at 8 p.m. Central Time. And I highly recommend if you're not already on those, and if you haven't made those a priority, I highly recommend if you wanna see growth in your business to make those a priority. They are invaluable, invaluable. Um, I've learned so much as a consultant and now as a new director by just getting on those. But Karen, so I loved her story, guys. Um, I won't go too in depth about about her story. She's from Virginia. She's an executive senior sales director. And for those of us that are newer to the business, that means that she has at least five offspring sales directors that she has offsprung from her unit. So they like I offspring from Jana's unit. The, she has at least five that have offspring from her personal unit. But what's cool, and this is one thing that I picked up, is she has five first-line directors. And I won't go into too much detail, I don't want to confuse, but then she has seven second-line and, and three. Th so she has a total of 15 directors that have offspring from her unit or from a, another unit that's connected to her in her area. Like, this is a powerhouse, guys. This is very exciting. She is steps away from becoming a national sales director. She, um, so talking about her personal story, she's a mom, she's a wife, 
Um, she was in corporate America. She left corporate America, went to Mary Kay, left Mary Kay, went to corporate America, and then came back and decided, I want something big with this business. I want to be a leader in this business. And so what Jan and I are going to talk to you about tonight is the dream equation. And some of you this week um, in the Victory Unit, I've had conversations with you guys about your a dream session. We've talked about something tangible that you can be working towards and working for with your Mary Kay profits. And I'm excited to talk to the rest of you guys about that that are interested. But we're going to talk about how to kind of be able to touch and feel something that you're working towards um, with your Mary Kay business. And I, Jana, when that before I became a sales director, she knows this. I was working towards monthly income. Uh, my income was going towards something every single month, whether it was like paying down debt, whether it was taking my family on a trip or my husband on a trip, whether it was paying for our anniversaries, gifts, it was always something. And I was very consistent in that because I wanted to work towards something that I could touch. And that caused even more blessings to come and the harvest to come from my business that I wasn't even aware would be happening because I was just looking at, you know, I want to pay $500 towards going to X, Y, and Z. And so we're going to kind of talk about what that looks like for each one of you um, and how to kind of break that down. So another cool thing that I wanted to share really quick is that Cleta colson who heads up the Boss Babes calls, and Karen Rydell, who was our guest speaker, they met on the Great Wall of China. Okay, like, really? Can we just talk about that for a second? They were both, they had both earned a top director trip to China. And they met while, during one of the excursions or one of the, you know, the group trips to the Great Wall. Like, who can say that in another business, in another company, who can say, you know, I met a really great colleague of mine while we were on this free trip in China. I don't think many can. So I was, I was excited about that. I mean, it, it's pretty incredible. So that's just a little bit about her and kind of what we're going to talk to you guys about tonight. Yes. If you haven't, if you have not watched that call or watched that uh, video, it is absolutely amazing. So you guys, um, okay. So what I wanted to share with you real quick is that um, before I uh, before I heard from Karen Rydell, okay, sorry, I'm messing with my screen here. Katie, I'm gonna mute you out for just a second because it's not allowing my mind to pick up, but I will unmute you here in a second. Okay, so anyway, um, all right. So years ago, I want to share this because I believe this is, um, I think it's kind of cool with Carol on here. So Carol Colson's independent sales director, uh, Priscilla McFeeters. So we went to a Cadillac class in Lawrence, Kansas, and she was um, kind of the leader of a bunch of leaders getting together. And she said, what would touch your heart so much that you could do for your family or that you could do in life that it would bring tears to your eyes. I want you to, she said, I want you to be quiet and think about that for just a minute. And so, um, so that's what, that's what we did. We were just quiet for just a moment. And we thought about what would impact us so deeply that it would bring tears to our eyes. And so what, what came to my heart was a trip for my family, a trip that we could go on that I could take them and we would not worry about money once. We would not, no one would ask the question, do we have enough money to eat at that restaurant? Can we go on that excursion? Can we, you know, I wanted it to be an amazing trip. And so um, she said, I want you to go home and I want you to figure up how much that's going to cost. So that's the first step. We want you to dream again, because obviously sometimes uh, we're not used to that. And so our brains are in neutral. And so if you are not dreaming, then I want you to start dreaming again. And so I want you to take some time, some quiet time, some alone time, dream about what would stir your heart. And then I want you to find out how much would that cost you? And when do you need to have that money 
in your bank account or in your pocket, okay? So you have to know how much you need and when you need to have it, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you, I'm gonna share with you just a, a sheet that I just printed up tonight because there's all kinds of other cutesy smootsy ones, but you know what? I want this to be simplified for you and we wanna show you the math, Oh, my, Samantha. I don't know who that is on your shoulder, but she is cute. She's so cute. That's what Callie. She's adorable. So she I'm going to share. Cute. I'm going to share my screen with you, and I'm going to show you how you can have Mary Kay pay for your dreams. Okay, you shouldn't be just like stretching it out, and you know who wants to pay like, just the electrical bill? It's good to pay the electrical bill with Mary Kay. I pay my house payment with Mary Kay. But I want to go above and beyond. Like right now, uh, one of my goals is to have a customized closet. So my closet is going to get an update. And then also, let's see, Balloon Fest in Albuquerque, New Mexico in October. All right, sister. Okay, um, if you haven't figured, so Jen, you might be my guinea pig. Do you know, Jen, how much that's going to cost you for that trip? Okay. I want you to find out how much that's going to cost and I want you to get back with me. Okay. And so after, after tonight, you're going to have, you're going to be equipped to get that plan together. Once you know how much you need and when you need it by, you're going to be able to figure this out. So let's go ahead and I'm going to share my screen right now. And okay. Can y'all see that? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, good. Okay, so this is really easy. Financial dreams with Mary Kay. I will make this into a PDF and put it on the page if you'd like on the rise page and everybody can put it on their own individual pages. But mm -hmm. number one, how much do you need in profit? The way and then the way to figure that out is, okay, so take, let's just say hypothetically that you needed $1,000. Okay, so and you guys, $100 is a victory, $200 is a victory, $500 is a victory, whatever you need. What do you want to pay for in the next two weeks that cost you $100 that you wouldn't ordinarily buy for yourself? You know how long I waited to have a little Bose speaker that only cost $113? I don't know why I was waiting. I was, I was making myself suffer when all I had to do was set my Mary Kay goal and go do it. Stop making yourself suffer. Set the goal for those silly things that you want and then go do it. Okay, so let's just say $1,000. So if you take a calculator and the profit that you desire is $1,000, and then you're gonna multiply that times 2.5. Okay, so that would be $2,500. That's the retail amount you need to sell to pull a $1,000 profit. I'm gonna explain to you real quickly that the reason why we just didn't sell $2,000 to pull 1,000 profit is because I like to be a smart businesswoman and I want you to be set up for success and to have little things set aside for business incidentals, okay? So if you're shipping a product to someone, if, you're, if you gave them samples, if you are, um, you know, if you're setting aside money to go to a seminar or if you're just any amount of those things, you know, when we do the preferred customer program, that cost us money. So I like to do that 50, 40, 10 split. Okay. So that's why we multiplied what we need in profit times 2.5 rather than just two. Does that make sense to everyone? Mm -hmm. Heads nodding. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, so now, so the amount to sell, the amount that we need to sell is 2,500. So the amount to sell divided by the weeks that you have to complete that goal. Okay, so let's say that we have, we wanna do this by um, the end of, let's say mid, let's, let's say the end of, end of June. Okay, so, cause I think we're seven weeks away from that. So you would take $2,500 in sales divided by seven weeks. And so that would be, sorry. So that would be $357 and 14 cents. 
okay? And then, and by the way, if it's months, if it's gonna be like 12 months, if you're trying to figure out something that you wanna do in a year and you're going to set that out a year out, then just divide it by 12 and then divide that by four, okay? Cause you got, you're dividing it by 12 months and then um, that's gonna be your monthly and then divide it by four and that's because like, four weeks in the month. So that will still give you your weekly, okay? Does that make sense to everybody? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I gotta dim that light a little bit. It's like, wah, making things crazy bright. Okay, so the next thing that we wanna do, your weekly sales goal is at this point, you know, um, figuring it out, how we're figuring it out is like 357, 14. So let's say 358 a week is what I need to sell. So if I'm going to reach that goal, then I need to know what my average dollar per face is. And so if you haven't gone out and, and done 30 facials or 30 virtual facials, you should be doing that. Go do that, get the practice, and then you'll know what your dollar per face is. Because what we're doing is we're gonna break this down and we're gonna show you how many, you can get this down to a science so you even know how many people you need to facial to reach your goal. And so you can tell people, oh my gosh, Susie Q, I have a goal, I've taken my family, to um, this amazing Disney trip. And so I have to see 30 people a month to achieve my goal. Would you be willing to loan me your face for an hour? I bet she would. And so people love to support your dreams. And if they know that all they need to do is maybe um, do a facial with you or invite girlfriends to do facials with you, they will do it. I know they will. So um, do not plan for reorders with this. That's not, that's not part of this. Okay. And hold on a second. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Carrie, the light, oh, light is showing us your beauty. Thank you, Carol. Um, Carrie says, feel like I've hit a wall with booking parties. Okay. So a great thing to do, Carrie, is have a conversation with your independent sales director about that because Katie's great at that. And you know, she can kind of talk with you about, you know, what's working for you, what's not working for you, who that you should maybe, um, who you, who you could be in contact with, or, you know, she'll give you lots of great ideas because she's a master at that. So there's no doubt in my mind, she'll get you back on track. So anyway, um, Katie, is there anything that you have to add on this? No, um, no. No, I don't. Um, I really, really love that you said do not plan for reorders because um, even if you have reorders, like you will, it'll be amazing. You'll, you'll hit even more, but new business is um, a big deal. So I like that you added that as well. Um, no, I think it looks amazing. I would love to um, once you, if you create this into a PDF, I would love to add it to the Victory Unit page. Well, just watch this. <laughs> Save it as a PDF, sister. It's happening right there. Four there it is. Dreams. Boom. Now, all I have to do now is email it to you. So anyway, I'm going to stop the sharing process. <laughs> and okay, friends. Um, now we're going to go ahead and. Um, we're probably going to go ahead and, and wrap things up. Katie's got some inspiration for us. And then we've got a challenge for you. So Katie. Can I answer Carol's question? Well, it's not really a question. It's more of a comment. Is that okay? Um, Do you see yeah, that? I struggle with yeah, I saw that. a tangible goal to work toward, whether a custom closet or vacation. So, so yeah. Does she struggle with have with with figuring out what she wants? Uh, I don't know, Carol. Carol, yeah, yes. Okay, yes. Carol, your dreamer's broken. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on. Your dreamer's broken because this is what happened um, the other day when. Oh, okay, and this is when I realized that my dreamer was broken. Okay, I'm gonna tell you how to fix it too, and then Katie's gonna give you ideas too. Okay, so the other day Paul said you can do anything you want to do for Mother's Day. And what do you want to do for your mother? For Mother's Day, what do you want to do for your birthday? And I thought, oh, I can do anything. What if I could do anything? What would it be? And you know what? I thought of nothing. And I'm like, 
I'm totally lame. I've been going along with what's best for my family. Not that that's bad, but I've been, I do what my family loves to do. I want to make my family happy. And so I had to take time mentally, a mental break and ask, what would make you happy, Gianna? What would make, what would stir your heart? And so then after we had this dream call with Karen Rydell, I'm like, hey, my, this is really hard. How, what, uh, uh, let me see another vacation for my family, because you guys, I've taken my family to, um, we did an amazing trip to Missouri, to a lake one time. And you guys, I paid for like our stay, our food. We took a cruise on a boat. We rented a boat and took it out on, on the lake for a day. We did so many, went to Silver Dollar City. We did so many amazing things. But anyway, um, so I'm like another trip, but I'm like, I need something that stirs my heart. And like the other night, Karen said, it's okay if it's selfish. If it's something for you, stop worrying about being selfish. So Carol, maybe you want a $500 shopping spree and you got to step back and see what your heart wants because God put those dreams in your heart for a reason. And so don't beat yourself up. And so when I thought about the closet thing, I'm like, that's something I want. That's very selfish because it's just for me and it's just for my shoes. And so, um, but it's for organization. And I think that it'll make me totally happy. And so that's one of the things. And I told Gavin today, I said, guess what? I'm going for a customized closet. That's what my next dream is. And after that, we're going to um, set a family goal. And, and I said, where do you want to go next? He said, Florida. We're gonna, I want to go to Florida next. And I said, okay, that's amazing. And so that makes me happy because I want to go to Florida too. So it's just taking the time. Okay, Carol, I want you to think about this. If you make enough money to take to take your family on an amazing trip or to redo your siding or I have somebody that wants to do new siding and new windows on their house if you will focus on doing enough business to have some of these tangible goals it's going to automatically take you to an independent sales director position okay so I want you to go out and get those tangible goals and it's going to take you to directorship. Okay. That's how I also that want to add to that. Sorry, Gina, go ahead. No, good. You're good. I was just gonna say, that's just how it works. When you set goals, you know, some people are like, I want to earn my red jacket. So, um, Carol, give Katie a holler or call me, um, Vox me. And you, you've got to take some time to look around your house. If you could upgrade anything or update anything, what, what would it be? You know, could, would you have a new car? Would you have a new house? Would you have something for your family around your house? Or, you know, I think sometimes we settle a lot because I, I mean, my house is great. We just moved into a new house, but there's some things that I would update if I could. If, if somebody said, if you could do, if I gave you um, like a hundred thousand dollars and you had to spend it by next week, what would you, what would you buy? Think about that, write down those things. Okay, Katie. I was just going to say, Carol, have you taken the time to dream with Wes lately? Have you talked to him about what, you know, what you want to be doing in the next year, like where you want to be and where you want your money to take you? Because I know that a couple of years ago, that, that really motivated you when you had crystal clear idea of what he wanted and what you wanted and you put something together. So I, I challenge you to guys, for you guys to have that conversation again. Um, if things have changed or if they're still the same and um, then you can line up and crunch the numbers to get yourself there. Um, but I do believe, cause I'm, you know, I'm still kind of struggling with a tangible goal for myself as well. Cause I have all these other balls that I'm looking at as well. So, um, mm -hmm. but I, I also haven't allowed myself to really dream lately because I feel like we've been told all the things that we can't do with all of the things that have been happening um, just in our world. So um, I think that it's going to take a little bit of practice again, getting into that habit. That's very good. And I've even got, you know, there's um, someone I'm not going to name names because it's a surprise. I have someone that is, gets really excited about surprising people and she's going to surprise a couple of people in her family with a shopping trip. 
but not just a shopping trip. She wants to surprise them like with $500 each. Oh, how awesome is that? That is so and then, cool. And then that inspired my thoughts. I'm like, okay, so maybe I want to take my sister. My sister Linda has always been very, very generous in my life. And, uh, you know, she like, she bought my wedding dress when oh. Paul and I got married because she said she cried and she said, mom would have done this for you. And I want to do this for you. And so, okay, I'm going to start crying now. Um, so awesome. Jana. I want to do something special for my sister because I don't think that people do that. I don't, I think she's always the giver and rarely the receiver. And so I think maybe I'd like to take her on an awesome vacation, like a girl's oh. trip, uh, vacation. Wouldn't that be fun? That'd be so fun. You guys so. would have a blast. That's on my radar, but you guys just allow yourself time, unplug from the phone, remove this from mm -hmm. your face for a while. Stop looking <laughs> at everybody else's um, dreams and think of your own. Think of what God put in your heart and pray and ask, say, God, what are the dreams? Please reveal the dreams that you would want for me because he will give you the dreams of your heart, but you've got to. You have to, you have to think about it for a little bit sometimes. Katie, do you want to yes. wrap up with their inspiration and then we'll do the challenge? I do. And I want, um, I do. And before I do that though, I just want to, I want to really impress upon you guys that this can really, it, it can be hard to do, but it can be so rewarding. It can cause you to shift your focus and shift your mindset. And so it can also cause you to step outside your comfort zone, which I know for some of us is not, obviously it's your comfort zone. You're stepping outside of it. So it's not comfortable anymore, but just keep your mind geared toward what the reward is. Because these things that we are saying, you know, the profit that you will be attaining from this, the work that it takes to get there. Many of you, if not all of you know how to do the work to get there. The amazing thing about this business is it's, it's very simple. The mind work is the hard part. The fear that creeps in is the hard part. Like I was talking to Carrie before we did, I'm staring at you, Carrie, but you can't see it, but I'm looking at you. <laughs> um, we did your, in, your first in-person pampering session. And I said, it's so dang easy. You say, okay, put it on your face. All right, wash it off. How does your face feel? Like who, who is excited to do that again, right? So just get excited about those kinds of things, about what is your business going to look like as we re-enter our, what our normal, what our new normal is going to be again. So, okay. Some of uh, this, I just was kind of like searching today on notes that I've taken in the past about um, at, from seminar or career conference of things that I've written down from Mary Kay Ashton. Guys, it's her birthday. That's so awesome. I mean, she passed away and left this earth in 2001, but I still feel her presence at every single corporate event. Um, and there are so many leaders that just embody um, her spirit and her heart. Um, and she was so go-give and I'm just so thankful that she started this business and, and decided that this is what she wanted to do at retirement age. I'm so thankful for that. And it started with what she was rooted in at a young age and what she was told that I encourage you guys to affirm yourselves in every single day. And it will take, that will also take a mind shift if you don't already affirm yourself, but to say, you know, whatever you're going after, you can do this. We have been given the skills. We have been given the tools to be able to achieve our dreams. Cause I know all of you are smart women and you know what you're doing. And so the one thing that stuck out to me today um, is don't let the negatives of life control you. There are so many negatives around us. Don't let them control you. Rise above them. Use them as your stepping stones to go higher than you ever dreamed possible. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. There will be obstacles in this business. There are going to be pieces of this business that you would rather just toss out. But I will say this, if you choose to turn those around, and use them as your stepping stones and use them as something to learn from a learning, a teachable moment, if you will. That's what I always used to say when I was teaching kids, this is a teachable moment. And I say it now with my three toddlers, um, then you will grow 
emotionally, mentally, and um, I bet that you'll find that you're a better version of yourself than you ever thought that you would be. And so um, the negatives come right along with the positives um, and that reward will still be there at the end if you choose to push through. So I challenge you guys to go out today before we get to our actual challenge and um, just mentally continue to push through any of the obstacles that may be coming up against you in your business, in your personal life, um, in your full-time job, whatever it is, just continue to push through and have faith. Awesome. Yay, thank you for sharing that, Katie. Fantastic. You know what, Mary Kay's birthday, um, what a fabulous day for you to start dreaming. And, you know, your dreams not only honor God, but they honor Mary Kay Ash because of the legacy she created and what she started years ago for you, for each and every one of us. So I, I love that we're honoring her with our actions. So your challenge for this week, I know you guys can do this. It is to dream, take some time to dream and figure out, I want you to put a price tag on what you want Mary Kay to finance by July 1st. And then I want you to make a plan and share it with your mentor slash independent sales director. Okay, so what are you dreaming of? How much is it gonna cost you? And how much do you need to sell each week by July? The first, that's seven weeks if you need that number. Make that plan and share that plan with your independent sales director, okay? All right, we're gonna unmute for just a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and end our, our face.